What is up you guys? It's your boy John here from Puma Plow. How's everybody doing? Thanks for clicking on another on the farm here on Sunday. How's everybody doing? Welcome. So guys, I am out here in the garden slash right next to the cornfield. So guys, we're going to have a quick look at the corn here. Uh, this is actually right in front of me here is where I hit it with the drone. I know I didn't get any footage of what happened to the corn, so let's check it out now. Now I hit this one right here. As you can see, got a pretty good wound there on the on the piece of corn. Chopped a couple of these leaves here as well. So we didn't cut all the way through, but we did a pretty good job of uh, <laughs> hacking it with the drone last week. So, you know, stuff happens, stuff happens, but you can tell this corn's looking real good. Uh, this is on the blacker dirt, like I've been showing you guys. Um, it is looking really good. Oh yeah, look at that in there. Nice corn, nice looking corn. Big full ears, uh, two ears, although there's not much here. But like this, this one here, that's a big old full ear there, and then you got another pretty good ear there. So about two ears per stalk. It's looking pretty good. Uh, here's one that's already opened up a little bit for us. Kind of look at it here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Big kernels. Um, this is the black dirt, like I said. You can actually see, look, we're gonna look in here just a little bit. How high this is. That, I, I need to measure this corn. It is so tall. This is one of the better, one of the better plantings here on this piece of property. I mean, this piece of property here grows some of the best corn in the area anyway. And this is looking really good. Now guys, if I can later today, I'll get out on the sandy ground and we'll kind of do the same look where we look at it. You can just tell behind me there, that's tall corn. That is very tall corn. We will do the same shot with the GoPro out on the sandy ground just to, for reference for you guys to see uh, the difference between the good dirt and the not so good dirt. It's uh, kind of incredible to be honest. This corn is looking so good. And we've actually had in the past week, I think we've had close to six inches of rain. Um, the weeds are just out of control right now everywhere. The bean patch out front here, which I got some drone footage of that, I'll put in the video in just a second. Um, just terrible with weeds right now. They need to get out there and spray, which they will soon. Um, they will very soon. So dad's over there cutting the grass and I think we're going to go in for some lunch. It's actually Wednesday. Uh, most of the time I do all my filming on Sundays. But this past Sunday, it was just so stinking hot down here. I didn't feel like doing anything filming wise. Um, it was 99 degrees with 110 or so, maybe a little bit more heat index. And I know for some of you guys that's not hot, but man here, just not used to it and it was terribly hot. Um, our second planting of sweet corn, we can go look at that actually right now. Uh, it's doing all right. It's doing all right, it's got ears on. Take a look at it here. This is the second plane of sweet corn. I don't think I filmed it when we planted, but it's got some decent decent ears coming in. The entire first planting of sweet corn. Actually, it's still over here. We just haven't had time down here, guys, this year. We've uh, spent the least amount of time down here I think we ever have. But this is the first planting of sweet corn. We did not actually get anything out of it. The I don't know if it was raccoon. It wasn't a deer this time. Last year it was deer, but this year it wasn't deer. I think it was the raccoons came in here and just annihilated it. And we ended up not getting anything. We just haven't had time to chop it down, to be honest. Um, the garden has just kind of gone to hell. Um, when you just can't put the time in, that's necessary. You know, you really need to almost be here daily um, taking care of it. and. We just can't do that, especially this year it seems. So, yeah, we are done planting pumpkins. We finished planting pumpkins this past Sunday. Uh, we only planted one hill plus the couple we filled in out front there. But we are done planting pumpkins now, which is great. I'm, I'm happy to be done. It's time we were, we were getting a little late on planting pumpkins. So it's, it's good to be done with that. I'll take you over to the potato patch here. It's a mess, guys. <laughs> don't uh, don't judge, okay? <laughs> so this was the first row. 
that we dug. We dug part of this last Sunday when it was so hot. Um, it was just like oppressive heat. The potatoes are ready to dig. It's time. The vines are starting to die out. And I know there's a lot of weeds in here, guys. Don't judge, like I said. We just haven't been able to put the time in. And actually, guys, uh, I've got some pictures of real Irish potatoes. Maybe I'll insert those in the video here for my boy Craig. Thank you, Craig, for sending me some pictures of real Irish potatoes because my potatoes apparently look bad to him. So he had to send me some pictures from uh, Ireland. And I agree, these potatoes are not the best this year, but it just, it happens, you know, it just happens. So we'll go look at the cantaloupe now. That lawnmower's getting louder and louder. Dad's getting closer and closer. So I don't even know if you guys, I don't even know if you guys knew, but we planted some cantaloupe and we put drip irrigation on them as well. So here they are here. We've got four hills out here in the garden, this part. It'll all fill in and pretty well take over the whole, whole chunk. They're blooming real good right now. We should have cantaloupe before too, too much longer. So guys, that's kind of my update of the garden for right now. We'll see what else we get into today. What is up, you guys? John, the voiceover guy here from Puma Plow. As I said earlier in the video, thanks for clicking on the on the farm and watching it. I do appreciate it, guys. So we are flying over the pumpkin patch. There is a reason I am getting the same shot week after week here with the pumpkin patch. And that reason will be revealed. I'll tell you what it is, but you will understand it maybe more later on. Um, I'm going to make a compilation video of all those kind of shots of the pumpkin patch week after week after week. So, uh, you know, around Halloween or so, I'll put that out. But guys, for now, we are out over the bean field. These are the late beans planted in the wheat stubble, as you can tell. And look at the weed pressure that they are getting in these beans. Holy cow. They have not sprayed these beans yet. And you can tell. <laughs> Um, the weed pressure out here is real. And actually, I take that back. They did do some spraying out here. I think they went out here and spot sprayed. Um, and some of the footage that I did not put in here because it revealed like too much of the area, I was getting some real wide shots just to kind of see. And you could see some tracks in these fields where they went around and like spot sprayed. So I think they did go out and, and do a little bit, but they need to spray them all. And they will soon. Um, they check their fields every field gets checked every week by those guys So they know what's going on with them and they will be spraying them whenever they uh, deem necessary So I think actually right there you can see where they drove around this field Over there on the left you can see the tracks coming across Yeah, they, they were out in these beans nosing around with the sprayer I guess So this is the one corner telephone pole that we work oh, so hard to clean up around look at all the crap growing there and actually in that corn right there, there's a lot of weeds growing in that corn. That's the neighbor's corn. And um, a lot of weed pressure in that corn too. But we have had, like I said earlier in this video, about five and a half, six inches of rain. In the past week alone down there, it went from being wet spring, then it got super dry, then it got wet again, then it went dry, and now we're back in super wet. And it's, I mean, the amount of weed pressure down there in general everywhere is a lot right now so you can see that next telephone pole that is uh, all grown up so like i said it's been wet right <laughs> so this is that drowned out spot of the beans that originally was not planted then they went in there and planted beans and those have all drowned out now <laughs> and i think they're actually going to lose some more beans because this water hole is huge right now and it's it's up in those beans it's kind of hiding there nice calm water got a reflection of those, some of those clouds and i thought it was really cool so i was like i will run out there and film it with the old drone this is almost a mile away from like the shed where i'm standing flying this drone it will go 1.2 miles away i'm not going to push it that far i'm not going to take it out that far from me because that's i don't know it just sounds dangerous to me so this is about as far out as I'll actually go with it right here. And then I wanted to make a quick point. Um, we've cut the grass. This was actually filmed on Wednesday, okay? We cut the grass the previous Sunday. So we're having to cut the grass twice a week down there in July. And for those of you that might not know this, that's not a thing that happens in the St. Louis area in July, having to cut grass twice a week. Unless it's super irrigated, then maybe 
But down there, of course, is not irrigated. It's just rainwater. All right, you guys, so now we are out here at the sandy ground, and as you can tell, the corn's not even up to my shoulder here in spots. Uh, it is a little taller here and there, but uh, this is the sandy corn. And maybe we'll do like a side-by-side -side or something of what the good corn looks like uh, back at the homestead there. But this is the sandy corn right behind me. I'm not doing any tricks with the camera, like holding it up higher, down lower, or anything crazy. Right about the same height, so just crazy how this corn has really suffered from the drought that we were in back in June. Uh, it's actually looking pretty good now, and we'll see. I mean, not pretty good. Considering what it was, it's not looking bad now. So let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so as you can tell, this is probably the worst spot in the field, and that's why I kind of picked it. When we're looking at the, this field from the air with the drone, which I don't have any footage to put in today, but in past videos, this is kind of the worst looking spot right out in here of this entire field. So you can see there are ears on this corn. They're little, but they're there. So this corn will produce something. Obviously, it will not produce what the corn on the better ground is going to produce. But they will get a harvest out of this um, nonetheless. So better than it could have been. Uh, I really thought this field was just going to die, flat out die, you know, back in June. But it's actually turned out to be not terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong. These two fields out here, it's going to be bad. But it could be worse. At least there's something here. And let's actually let's take a little peek here. Oh, see, the ear doesn't start till way down here, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, it's in there. It's in there. We're not going to open it up, but it's in there. It's at least going to make something, like I said. So, that is pretty much that. All right, and since we had so much rain in the past week, Dad, and I thought it would be cool when we came into town for lunch, to swing by the floodgates. These are the floodgates, if you guys remember, back in December, January, where they held the river back from uh, coming in. This drains directly into a river. That's all I'm going to say. not going to tell you which one. But drains directly into a river and this is the point where if it's going to flood, this is where it would kind of come from. So they built this structure back in 1993. The old one was of course knocked out in 93 since everything got wiped out in 1983 back in the day. So, But if you remember back to some of those previous on the farms, this was all full of water and actually where I was standing was under about a foot and a half of water that they held back by building a temporary levee on top of the roadway here. So we just thought it would be cool to run down there and check it out. So, pretty neat, and I didn't have the real camera with, with me, otherwise I would have been doing some zoomage. Uh, and I thought about putting the drone up, but I chose not to, to be safe. So thank you guys for watching another On the Farm video, I do appreciate it. We will catch you next time here from the farm next Sunday. And until then, make sure to hit that like button for more, subscribe if you haven't. And until next Sunday guys, I'm your boy John from Poodlefly, thanks for watching, and toodles.